Hi, if you're new here to the channel, my name is Nico. I'm 29 years old, living full time in my Tesla, traveling across the US. I've been traveling the American Southwest for two weeks now. The views here are endless and amazingly beautiful. I get to watch as many sunrises and as many sunsets as I want. It's kind of funny how adulthood life really is the rat race. The American dream to go to school, get good grades. I went to San Jose State and got a business degree in 2017 and graduated. Get a good career. I worked at Tesla for five years and then I became a production supervisor only to get let go and laid off. Buy a house. I had a $1.2 million house with my family. And then get a fancy car. I got a Tesla Model Y. And then eventually retire in 40 years. In the American culture, it's told to us over and over and over again. So many times that we believe it's real. Just because it's tradition does not mean it's correct. And we forget as a human species that we have the power of choice, that we can live a life on our own terms and not on the opinions of others. Confucius said one time, he who says he can and he who says he can't are both usually right. And life is all about risk and choosing your heart. It's kind of like a video game, easy, moderate, difficult, extreme. If you want a life that's easy, you're gonna coast on by, you're gonna try not to make any trouble or bounce around the walls, kind of play it safe. Work a job for 40 years, then retire. If you want a life that's moderate, you're gonna try something new, maybe a little courageous, a little bit, but you're still not gonna try to go beyond your limits. If you want a life that's difficult, opening up a shop, a business, or an Instagram account, or a website selling stuff, hey, maybe it works and maybe it doesn't, but at least you tried. If you want a life that's extreme, here's where I'm at, uh, but I don't pay any rent. I don't have any utilities, no gas, water, garbage, and also my car is paid off. But my life is extremely difficult. Just take the chores that I have to do, washing dishes, cooking, going to find where a shower is gonna be at, and then finding where the toilet is gonna be. You learn how to do these things and are constantly challenged while living inside a car. If you really want it bad enough, you're gonna find a way. And if you don't, you're gonna find an excuse as to why that you can't do it. Michael Jordan said one time, I failed over and over and over again. And that is why I succeed. He also got cut from his ninth grade basketball team. But do you think at the first sign of failure in ninth grade that he gave up and that he wouldn't have become Michael Jordan. Or take Oprah Winfrey, she was also written off for television. Like if she listened to people that told her she wasn't good enough, then she wouldn't have become Oprah Winfrey. So what I'm trying to tell you guys is that follow your dreams, follow your passions, whatever it is, choose your easy, choose your hard, whatever it is that you wanna do, hey, go ahead and do it. Getting this workout in Moab, Utah. Taking advantage of the new music right now because it's silent in the gym. Uh, it's a little old school gym right here in uh, Moab. And yeah, we're getting our back workout on the machine right now. Hope you guys are having a great day. All right guys, little physique check. That's how we're looking. Feeling a little full, not flat at all. I think it's the creatine. Yep, feeling great. See the striations? Look at all the lines. What's up guys? So I've been living in my Tesla for three months now and it's been quite the journey. Um, I learned a lot uh, by living in the Tesla. Uh, I learned how to learn quickly on my feet I've learned how to solve problems quickly and adapt. Um, but the main thing that I really learned is this uh, freedom thing. That I get to travel anywhere I want, when I want, how I want. And without having the overhead of rent or utilities or gas, water, garbage, all of those things that keep you locked down into a physical spot and location, apartment, house, whatever it may be, right? I think the freedom with nomad life uh, is very freeing and 
I get to travel to Bryce Canyon, Arches National Park, uh, Zion. Um, right now I'm in Wyoming in the Grand Tetons. But the feeling I had when I was in a house, in a $1.2 million house, I had a good job making $120,000 a year at Tesla as a production supervisor. And when we had this house, it was $1.2 million and we had a, um, a mortgage on it. Mort literally means death, the root word. So I felt like just locked into a physical location, like you're stuck in that one spot and you can't move because you're, you're in uh, the 30 year mortgage and uh, you gotta work in order to pay it off. And then you have to work to pay the bills um, to then pay the gas, the water, the garbage, utilities. And I got fed up with it after I got laid off because a company could just let you go like that. Any company, no matter what size they are, big, large, small, whatever it is. And the realization I had with that was very uh, eye-opening. And so when I started living in the Tesla, it gave me the ultimate freedom to travel wherever, whenever. Uh, and I, I get to upload videos on YouTube uh, full time uh, and get money from ad revenue and the super chats because of you guys. And this lifestyle I'm living right now, it's like I was dreaming of this. I had this dream. I wrote it down. I said to myself, um, I want to become a digital nomad at the end of the year. Um, and I put a timestamp on it. And about two months later, I had ripped it up and I threw it away. And I told myself, Nico, this is a dumb dream. What do you think? What, what do you... <laughs> Sorry. Uh -huh. Who are you to think that you could become a digital nomad? Who are you to think that you can do this? And it's that self-doubt, right? And that self-doubt creeped up on me um, because I kept speaking it out into existence. Like, oh, wait, I can't do that. Um, I don't know how to do it. Um, online, like, that's dumb. Uh, you have to work physically at a job. That's how it's always been done. And so if you always think something's the same way, the real definition of insanity is to do something the same way over and over again, expecting a different result. And so when I wrote that down into existence that I want to become a digital nomad, um, I put it out into the universe that I wanted to become it. And there's power in that. And so I got this dream catcher in um, Arches National Park. And I really want to talk about this dream catcher. It taught me that no matter how hard it gets, that you should keep your dreams alive. And when I wanted to become a digital nomad, I was putting it out into the universe that I wanted to become, become that and get paid by doing online videos and not having to work physically at a job. And now it's all in a computer. But if you have a goal, if you've got a dream, you can do it, you can achieve it, whatever it is. As long as you put in the work, the consistency, the time, the effort, whatever it is, you can do anything this life has to offer. Uh, it's called the abundance mindset. And I kept this as a reminder. I keep it on my dashboard and I see it every day. To always dream, to dream big, to think that you can do it, you can do anything that you want to do. And this nomad lifestyle, you can do it. It just takes some research and some, some consistency and discipline and strong will and persistence and grit. Uh, those are the things that you gotta have when car living. It's just a reminder, keep your dreams alive. Yeah, this is just, I just wanna talk about this uh, that I got. Um, it's a real cool uh, kind of like relic that I have. Good morning guys. Um, we woke up at this hotel parking lot. Uh, I've been doing this every single night for 10 nights in a row, but there's free charging here in Moab, Utah at a hotel. And I woke up in this parking lot, it's pretty empty like every single night. But the cool thing here is there's two chargers. They've always been empty. And I just park here, sleep overnight for free, run the heater or the AC, and it's also all free because it's charging. But I wake up to a beautiful sunrise in the mountains right there, and I have this beautiful background. No one's ever parked in this lot also as well. So this is where I park, and yeah, it's a beautiful, beautiful morning. And we are charged up to 80%. 
there it is all free nothing paid also a huge announcement on the channel we're calling the tesla rover one or rover zero one whatever you want to call it but rover one that's what we're calling her the white tesla that's the the name now all right feeling really organized man look at this we got our packing cubes towel and then we got our dirty laundry right here okay guys so this is today's workflow uh we have the laptop right here we're getting some work done uh trying to find our agenda for the youtube and then we have the starlink that's plugged up into the ecoflow and we're at schaefer point in canyonlands and my god check out the view at times like these where i'm super grateful for kind of doing this nomad lifestyle i could work anywhere pop up the starlink and then just do my editing work it's very fun and freeing but there has its downsides of like you know using the bathroom like cooking and stuff but can't deny that view well then uh this is my life right now i was boiling inside of the car and it had spilt over this car is a mess i try to organize it as best i can but so this piece right here keeps falling off which is annoying because that whole thing engages this stand to kind of stay upright i've been on this youtube short for about two hours and yeah this is what happens when you clean out your data <sighs> the media files are lost now i had to re-upload oh my god so there is a loud sound coming from the front of the car i think it's the ac system or the heater or whatever it is but i can hear it it's really loud so might get that checked out soon but the nearest one for the service center is an hour and a half away in colorado so you know what we're just gonna wood glue it because yeah that's just what we're gonna deal with because it's so annoying of it moving this is like permanent i really don't know what the hell i'm doing but i really hope that this works because wood glue is supposed to make things stay so we're gonna see if that actually works. Okay, I definitely over, definitely over applied it. So, I have to move this over a little bit. A little cleanup won't hurt. There you go, problem solved. And everyone wants to know what I'm gonna do when it all comes crashing down. But here's the thing, even if I worked a traditional 9 to 5 job, everyone knows about mass layoffs. People get laid off from jobs due to budget cuts, and jobs become redundant and not needed anymore. Take my example of being laid off from Tesla after working there for 5 years. I would never wish a job loss against anyone, but trust me I've been there. But life is full of surprises and one thing about plans is that they can change. You can spend years in one industry and later end up doing something completely different. So if you want to make a lifestyle making money in an unorthodox way, like me uploading videos on YouTube. If you wanna be a freelancer or entrepreneur before committing to one thing, as long as you keep your expenses low, you can make this happen. We're living in an age where the average person will change jobs five to seven times in their lifetime, and life is about choice and to choose what brings happiness to you. As long as you're saving and you're enjoying your present moment, you're gonna be fine.